Yeah, There's but no I'm, other country I'm saying, that but you can't call the it the world sport because nobody else is playing it. It's just American football. But it's the highest league. Oh, oh <laughs> Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? Put a little pep in your step, Michael. <laughs> I feel like every time that we make videos, I'm wearing this shirt and you're wearing some sort of hoodie similar to this. Shati, it's the middle of <laughs> April. I was actually planning on at least wearing some more springy stuff. But it's still snowing, oh, but so here we are. Here we are in the Arschkälte. My auto <laughs> vorhin hat auch ping, drei Grad. <laughs> so, do you know why we're here today? No. You don't know? Nein, I didn't give you any. Nein, I nix. really didn't give you any information. Nein, nix. Usually, I'm I give Mike a little hint. Into the kalte Wasser. Okay, what do you think this video is about without looking? No idea. No idea. Can okay. You just tell me. Yes. <laughs> so I did a video a few days ago titled "Things Americans Find Weird." Stop looking about <laughs> Europeans. But yeah, today we're doing the things Europeans find weird about Americans, and I'm going to be reading them to you so you can. So I don't cannot say what so it has See, the same. My opinion or was yes yeah, so you get your reaction <laughs> about it and where do you get your information from from reddit <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the reliable source the most reliable <laughs> are you <laughs> ready <stimmt> auch. <laughs> yeah, okay. um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram yeah, me and too. oh don't forget to follow mike on instagram too i mean i keep telling him to post pictures of himself so everyone What? can see that beautiful smile looking like mr clean <laughs> Don't forget, <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so the first one. What do you think the number one is? Uh, the first one. Number one so part? just so I get this right. It's okay. what the Europeans find weird about Americans. Right? Or yes. the other way around? Okay, yes. so what we find weird about the Americans. Yes. When I already did the American, what Americans find weird about I Europeans. Would, my personal thing, and that's the only thing, is that y'all were slippers <laughs> to a restaurant <laughs> this is That's only seriously, a Florida thing this is seriously my only thing where I'm still like hmm Mike this is like weird this. I, I would not feel comfortable showing my toes off <laughs> in, in a, a restaurant in a public place where other people eat do you want it's me to tell the story upon of why you are like this this is a Florida thing. We're actually like a southern United States thing where it's warm. Mm. So one yeah, time... That's true. I, have, I, I would not think that someone in North Dakota yeah. is going out in their slippers. No, but one time, Mike and I, we went out to eat with my family. It, it was me, my mom, my younger brother, and my other younger brother. My other younger brody, brother is 25 years old. And so we got to the restaurant. My mom was wearing sneakers. I was wearing sneakers. Mike was wearing sneakers. But my 25-year-old younger brother was wearing... <laughs> flip-flops <laughs> and Mike he looked at me and he's like Haley was this dust and I'm like what do you mean he's like oh you can see his feet I mean I get you. it when you're from uh, coming from the beach yes no like it's a it's a beach club type restaurant then sure where your flip-flops and your body who is see but mm. no people get dressed up and they yeah, choose don't even dress up. Oh, so yeah, yeah that's and they how choose you yeah, 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 yeah. their flip flops. It's so weird. Like you're well put together, and then you have a jeans on or your chinos, and then you have your your toes. Yeah, your Jesus know. sandals. Okay, okay so what is it? the first now. one is going to be the sheer number of different churches and Christian denominations. No, I don't find that to be weird. You don't find that to be no, weird at all. Do you find it to be weird all the churches that you see no. in the United States? No. No. Why? Do you find it weird that they're randomly off on the side of the street like these mega churches no because those you don't have here yeah but i find that good yeah yeah oh. why not let them religion i'm not crying i'm not crying i'm not crying the next one is going to be the pledge of allegiance What's i'm that? i'm american but my relatives think that kids just chanting that every day is real weird oh you guys don't have this in germany i mean you guys don't have a pledge either i'm a real american you you're not no <laughs> but that's what they're saying no <laughs> Do you want me to say it for you? Yeah. So every day at school, we had to stand up and stand in front of the flag like this yeah. and say, I pledge allegiance to the flag oh, of the really United cool. States of America Aww. and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, 
Oh, that's cool. By liberty, or for liberty and justice really? for all. That's really yes. cool. We need that more here too, like this unity. I like the, I like patriotism a lot. Mike I think likes, that's really yeah, cool. I love that this. when even like a nation is united and has like the same. I, I think that's really cool. I like that. I like y'all's patriotism a lot. I think that's really cool. And that's something we are missing a little bit. Like that In we some are sense. proud But do you think that some here. Americans take it over the top? Yeah, sure. That's with everything. Yes, But just it. like a common sense, hey, I'm proud of my home. I like it here. I like showing it to people. I think that's really cool. Maybe because you're a Bavarian. Very, Bavarians are very proud too. <laughs> I'm from Bayern. Bayern. But yeah. we used to pray in school. So that's basically the same. We used to pray all the time in uh, every, like before classes yeah. started. We used to say the Vater Unser. Yeah, not me. Yeah. See, that's the same. Yeah, no. Why yeah. not? It's a beautiful country. Be proud of it, even if it's not the best, but still <laughs> be proud of it. Das stimmt. Yeah. Das stimmt. Always, always good. The next, What's next? The, ne the next one, <laughs> lawyers advertising. <laughs> I was in, when I was in Louisiana, so cool. I remember an ad that was something like, have you been bitten by an alligator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can help you get a reparation. Yeah. A frozen iguana falling <laughs> yes. you. You might be entitled to a settlement. Call Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> nein, it's yes. nein, it's Morgan Pound Morgan. Law. That's all. <laughs> Mike loved these. Oh my and god, they're the the funniest. Thing, the thing is, is that we started listening to radio like at Gator first. Country one point yes. nine. Yes, so. At first, we had a rental car, and we plugged in our phone, <laughs> so we didn't have ads. But then when we got to my car, which did not have satellite radio, because it was you so... Why did you cheap out of the bus? Was, was the BMW. It didn't mm. have... Yeah, it was older, so mm. it only had a radio that Would had... I loved that? Yeah, with FM radio. And so every 10 minutes... <laughs> <laughs> you might be entitled to a settlement. <laughs> But your commercials are so entertaining. funny. Yes. They're entertaining. It's not like here. Um, It's so serious. Mit, mit, ja, wirklich. Mit Mr. Spee or was auch. Oder halt, die sind halt schlecht irgendwie. Yeah. Ich weiß nicht warum. The next one hm. is going to be peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. No, I hate those. <laughs> But that's because I... Grew I, up without no, peanut butter. I don't like peanut butter. Yeah, no one in... Most mm -hmm. Europeans don't like peanut butter. Yeah, <laughs> I love peanut butter. I could eat it by the spoonful. But my brother, he can eat like just two pieces of bread in one slice or like, I don't know, schicht of peanut butter and then that's it. But you know what I also find like the contrast for this for the European side is that you guys put butter on every single freaking sandwich or a spread. Them. I, hate, I hate that. You go somewhere and there will always be, what is it, Nutella and butter. And I'm like, <laughs> thus? I'm like, Who's the, who does this? This is so disgusting. Declawing your cat. Oh, I've never owned a cat in I know, my life. But People find this to be weird is that in the United States they take the claws out of the cat. Was? Yeah, it's illegal Echt? here. Yeah. That's really weird. They mean. did that to all my cats growing up. I didn't know it was Why? such a bad thing because we don't like when it scratches the couch and stuff. Does it hurt them? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. It's really bad. That I don't like. It's not legal. Or it is legal. Um, I don't know why when animals, because people in the United States actually love animals, I don't know why they still allow it, but it is bad. It's inhumane. Oh, look at See? Put butter on your sandwich. I find this to be so weird. Okay. Well, it's not. This video ain't about you now, I know, is it? I know. The next thing is going oh, to this be. This is long. I know. I'm not going <laughs> to read the whole thing. I'm going to try to paraphrase it. It's that in the United States, it's okay for us to drive, let's say, an hour somewhere just to go eat somewhere yeah. and then drive back home the same day. Or two hours, let's say. Yeah. And in Europe, you think, oh my gosh, two hours. Yeah. Yeah. I would never do that. Mm, and that's because, how do I say this? As a European, when you go to America, the first thing that really hits you and actually is very hard to wrap your mind, your head around, your yeah. mind around, your head both. Or your you mind, could put both. To wrap your head around is um, how humongous this country is. It's so big that you are like, hey, I can drive for two days. <laughs> And I'm still in the same country. Four days, five That's days. That's so strange to me. Or like, it was strange in the beginning. Like, I have to drive one and a half hours and I'm actually still in the same city. zip code. When we drive two or three hours, we are... In a new country. Mm, long, new long. language. <laughs> <laughs> new language, new country, yeah. new everything. But the, to, for Americans, it's totally normal. They drive through to, from Miami to Atlanta just to party and then drive home. Yeah. That's what we used Wirklich. to do. Someone said for this, it's that for Americans, 100 
miles is short, but a hundred years is long. And for Europeans, a hundred years is short and a hundred miles is long. In the United States, you have something like a house and you remember that house in Naples that was 100 years old mm. and it was the oldest house in that city. And they like have it wrapped around with fences and stuff and they have a little uh, sign inside of it because it's the oldest standing house um, because we don't have anything that's older than that. And so this is, this is. <laughs> in Germany, you have things that people are still living in homes that were built in the 1800s. I wouldn't say it's weird at all, but patriotism is very different. In a lot of European countries, if you fly your country's flag at any time other than during the World Cup, it has a stigma of being associated with fascist and racist, where in the USA, I've driven down many streets and see the US flag hanging from purpose-built flagpoles built into a house. Yeah, yeah, not just there, always, everywhere. <laughs> Even on the car, I know it has to be. But basically, for someone coming from Europe, you're not used to seeing your. But I like, do a like that. Flag. Mike I does do like, like that. that. And yes, it's, it's in I every store. It's, it's in nice every too. store. It's in every restaurant and in every building. But I do like that. I think that is very cool, and I think you all need that too because you have a very like it's a melting pot of a lot of cultures. But what unites you is this one flag, and the flag stands for something for you. Stands for something. That's yes, wrong. I stands, also think stands for something for st you. Stands. Yes. Stands for something. St yes. But not for you, right? Mm. That sounds really. Stands weird. for something. Grammar I think for Mike. us, also in the United States, red, white, and blue it is a very <laughs> nice color combination. Black, red, no, and no, yellow just and is just not black, nice. Black and red <laughs> it's, yeah, best. it's not a nice color yeah, combination. You, yeah, I do think our flag is pretty boring. Yeah, Germany. Yeah, y'all yeah, have just three stripes. I like the Union Jack. And that looks cool. Or the, the Finnish. Like... Yeah, the British one. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty cool. So I think that's also why people have it, because it's a nice decoration. It is. It looks... I think flags are ugly. I would not hang a flag in my yeah, front yard or true. anything like that. I, I think they're the ugliest thing in the world. But I do think it looks pretty cool when you have like a... I think um, when you have a nice house. Yeah, or you have a Wrangler, let's say. And usually they have them in the back window. Like, that are like just black. Just black and yes. white. It looks really cool, or when you just have it like really like um, decent, decent, like really, <laughs> what's the word? Um, um, subtle. Subtle, yes. Mm -hmm. You have it like really subtle on your grill or something. That is pretty cool. I like that. It's nice, yeah. I There's just no color to it. I'm just not a colorful guy. Like black and white, and then it's good. If I had like a nice two million dollar home nice. on the beach, <laughs> I would have the highest flagpole <laughs> with the highest <laughs> flag, oh, and it gosh. would be a pink and white. American flag. Oh, it, they would think it's the breast cancer flag. The next one is going to be in America. Um, I'm American, but generally free refills and water with ice aren't common in restaurants. Best uh, Sache I don't understand is how we have to pay three fifty for tap water and ice. <laughs> Das kann nicht wahr sein. And free refills. Free refills People need were... to be mandatory everywhere. Like water should not be Charge. You should not be charged for water. Yet. As long as you order food or something. Yeah, that's and yeah, and cocktails and stuff like and or beer. Of course, no free refill, but water. Well, I think it's also different because in Germany, unfortunately, you guys buy a lot of restaurants buy their cokes. Still, I've seen like actual restaurants that we've sat at, and they fill it up with a Coke bottle. Yeah. Instead of having like but a Coke vending machine, and that but I that's the restaurant's problem. Yeah, I also think that too. I'm like, why do y'all do this? Just get a Coke uh, uh, vending machine. A lot no, of people got upset because I did this in my last video. This was such a big ever. difference for us, and I, don't get this. I got so much crap in the comment section that's why? because people saying it's not technically free it's they free. just raise the price of the food yeah, so okay. then you have to pay and i'm like but like let's say i'm really thirsty yep. and i just want water and i want like three cups of water that's 10 bucks here yeah for just water that is free for the restaurant i'm fine with paying the euro more for my uh, burger Chicken, or whatever yeah. i guess that will never come no it won't <laughs> Why do you talk so loudly? Why do you talk so loudly? We aren't that loud. We are so loud. We don't talk that loud. We are so loud. All of us. So loud. When I get with my friends, Mike is just sitting in the corner like... Americans have a larger personal space level than most other cultures, and that's why we talk so loud to cover the distance. <laughs> I mean, sometimes we 
like separate personal space bubbles like we don't mind invading other people's space six feet yeah but but that is true in germany people like they'll get very close to you like when you're standing in line at the supermarket oh gosh, you'll that. have someone standing right like next to you down yeah, like your neck. literally touching oh, where well, you're in a that. line for the movie theater and there's someone literally you can feel yeah. their breath just yeah. ugh, like going on the side yeah. of you and that would yeah. never happen in the united states you would Die probably get into a fight they yeah. think you're going faster then Or like they ca they get to their destination faster, but no, it's just, it's just dangerous. It, and it's annoying. That's something that I do have to say. I and dislike <laughs> that is really weird. And I... <laughs> no, I hate that when someone <laughs> is so close to yep. me. Like it doesn't go faster. No one's going to cut in. Calling the winners <laughs> of your sporting trophies world <laughs> champions, even though barely any other countries play your national sports. <laughs> We're so funny. Like if you would not know the United States, you would think the United States is like some evil dictatorship. But there's no other country that plays football was mine still yeah There's but no I'm, other I'm saying but you can't call the it the world sport because no other else is playing it it's just american football but it's the highest league oh, oh it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah but just like the nba it's there are germans that or like other countries that have basketball leagues but they're pretty ridiculous they but you're only the world champion technically in formula one you're not the world champion in indycar you're yeah but it would be champion. different if it was only british people playing no like there a, are germans there are spanish yeah, but all there of the are teams canadians are american that's the thing so? <laughs> so but you're not playing against anybody else all of the car teams in formula one what do you have you have a bunch of german you have mercedes red bull yeah, but williams Tristan. You want me to name all of them? Okay. Uh, yeah, but this video is pretty long. This is pretty long. And we're going to okay. stop because yeah. we're at some point. But it's a very, we can make a f part two. Oh, you want to make a part two? Yeah, yeah, like, you liked it, huh? I can find more. They I have mean, a bunch of threads. This isn't the only one. They have like thousands of them. Many so yeah, too. thank you so much for coming. You're what what do you have welcome. to say to the viewers? They haven't seen you in a long time. They miss you. Mm. They want to know if I've killed you or not. I'm sorry. <laughs> years have passed <laughs> and i'm still here okay i love you i don't know thank you so much for watching you guys i'm going oh say bye bye not <laughs> hit me back uh, so. <laughs> bye say bye oh say bye no bye wiederschauen tschüss, tschüss.